Hey guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at this DUIS brushless motor. It's um, actually not labeled on the motor itself as to what model it is and size, but on the packaging it says that it's a uh, D2830-8 1300kV and uh, this is um, actually designed for an airplane. Uh, I'm going to be putting this on my bushwhacker and replacing the Sunny Sky motor that's on there right now. Um, See if I can give you a closer look at the windings. It's hard to see uh, the quality of the windings. They look decent, not not bad, not good. Um, the motor wires are pretty solid, uh, pretty pretty thick gauge wire, and wrapped in silicone. And they actually bend and uh, hold their shape, which is interesting. Um, so right now, my, my, right now my bushwhacker's got a Sunny Sky motor on there, and that's a 2212 um, 1000 kV motor. So I'm going to be taking that off um, and then putting this one on. And since this is a 1300 kV motor, it should um, give me a little bit more power, which is something I've been looking for. The um, spec sheet here for this motor says 930 grams of pull. Uh, the motor is rated 2 to 4S, and it gives you sort of these uh, prop guidelines, um, 2S 9x6 and a 4S 7x3, so I think I'll be running a 2200 3S, so I'm thinking maybe an 8x4, 8x5 might be pretty good. Um, I haven't decided yet which kind of prop I'm going to use. The motor does come with um, a mount and uh, some screws and a prop adapter. The shaft here is, I think it's, so the shaft comes in at about three millimeters. And the motor itself is about 28 millimeters for the bell and and from top to bottom about 28 millimeters. And I also take measurements of the uh, Sunny Sky motor as well. I'm going to go ahead and take that off now. Okay, so I went ahead and I pulled off that uh, Sunny Sky motor off the bushwhacker. And this is a 2212-13980 kV. And pretty similar in size. Um, and with just basically the difference will be the kV of the motor. You can see the um, windings are a little bit thicker on the DYS motor, but there's more windings on the Sunny Sky motor. The shaft, the shaft here on the Sunny Sky is two millimeters. They see here the bell on the Sunny Sky comes in at 27.6. Sunny Sky is about 27.6. Um, let's throw in the, uh, the mount as well, so it's 57 grams of the mount, and the Sunny Sky motor comes in at 55 grams, so pretty similar specs. So this is the prop that I was using on the Sunny Sky motor, it was a 10 by 6 and it has to do with the fact that this is a 980 kV motor. I think on the DYS, I, as, I, as I mentioned before, I'm going to try an 8x4 or 8x5 propeller. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and mount this to the bushwhacker, and I'll go ahead and uh, record some flight footage for you. Okay, guys. So I'm going to be flying the uh, bushwhacker today with the new DYS uh, D2830 motor. And I have an 8x6 propeller on there. Uh, I'm also going to be testing the uh, Eosheen MC02 all in one FPV camera and VTX. Um, I will have some flight footage of this and a review on a, in a separate video, and I'll put a card up in the corner for you guys to check it out if you want to check out the uh, video from the, uh, this particular FPV system. It's a little windy. 
a while since I've flown an airplane. This ought to be interesting. This motor has a lot more power. My propeller is unbalanced, makes me making a lot of vibration. Only at about half throttle, and it's uh, got a lot of power. Oh, it's getting more windy. I think I've got time to land it now. A lot of vibration from the propeller. It's a pretty cheap propeller. Yeah, I can hear it. Okay, well, I'll deal with that later.